Everyone, welcome to my channel. God bless you. How have you been? Oh, good. This is Blessing Abuna TV. It's a great channel full of God's words, prophecies, word of knowledge. We have a dollar of the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, stay with us. God bless you. Today, we have a question to answer. Is homosexuality a sin? I will just read you some scriptures and then by yourself, you can answer it. I'm not sure I'm going to answer it for you. Praise God. But I'm going to just read some Bible scriptures so you can answer it for yourself. The first one is Leviticus 18.22. So do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. So do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. That means saying you should not, a man should not have sexual intercourse with another man as you do with a woman. That is detestable. That means God is saying, no, that you should not do that. Praise God. And the last question I'm going to read for us is in um, Romans 6, 1 to 2. It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer daring? What is sin? Sin is doing what God says you should not do. What God's word says don't do, you go do it, that is sin. And then it says, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Because God is merciful, God is love, is gracious, He always forgives us. That's grace. Shall we not continue in sin? Because He's going to forgive you. You want to say, God, forgive me. I'm sorry. They do it again. Should we continue in sin? And the answer uh, is in verse 2 of uh, Romans 6. It says, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer? Daring. He said, No. Because God is merciful, God is gracious, and you keep on forgiving you because of grace. Uh, grace may abound, should not continue to commit sin. Praise God. That way it says that. Then I'll look at the book of Luke for uh, Luke 6 46. And why ye why call me ye Lord Lord and do not the things which I say? This is Christ talking. So why are you calling me Lord Lord, but you're not doing what I say? That means if I say I'm a Christian, you must do what the Bible says. You must do what the Lord says. So you say, why are you calling me Lord Lord and don't know what I say? That means if you say I'm a Christian, you must do what the Lord says. And the last scripture I'm going to read it for us is John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. I will close with this scripture. God bless you. And uh, all these scriptures are used to relate to the answer. If homosexuality is a sin, use these scriptures to relate to it. And there are more scriptures about in the Bible where God says, Don't do it. So you by yourself answer the question for yourself. And I pray anyone out there that wants to uh, throw away anything that if God does not want, I pray that God will give you the power and God will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. If you're not born again, say, Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today. I accept into my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me. We were buried on the third day. He was again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The prayer was said, you're not born again. Start going to your Bible team church. Buy a Bible for yourself. Study for yourself. And please subscribe, touch the bell. Everyone, please like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.